So I've just got an InvisiFrame kit uh, sent through from uh, the guys at InvisiFrame. It cost me, I think it was £85 for the Turbo Levo XL version. A little bit more expensive than the regular ones, but there is quite a bit more uh, frame size and bits and pieces on this one. I was really surprised with the amount of uh, parts that actually come with the amount of stickies that you get with it. It's quite a lot. Uh, I did find it quite difficult to install. Um, as you'll see from the video, there's quite a few different pieces. Uh, there's, there's quite a few uh, inside the swing arm pieces as well. So uh, it took me way, way longer than, uh, than I expected as well. We received the InvisiFrame kit. We need a few bits and pieces, so baby shampoo and a little bit of um, tar remover, which I don't have, so I'm gonna need to go and get some of that. Okay, got the tar remover and got the baby shampoo, Johnson's variety. So now we've got all the equipment we need to fit this Invisi Shield. so let's see how it goes. And here's the kit, so let's check this out. So we've got big, big roll 3M. There's loads of printed stuff on it. I'm really pleased actually with the amount of protection that this is gonna to give to the bike. I think in here we've got the Olin's fork kit as well. Yep, there we go. And what InvisiFrame has sent through is this, um, this guide which shows for my bike, the Carbon Levo 2018 Extra Large. You can see all the different parts, all the different parts of the kit that are available. And then if we have a look through, we've got the Olin's kit here as well. So I've got my bike in, it's in the kitchen. There we go. I'm gonna clean it all up with the tar remover and then um, attempt to apply this kit. Just clean the frame up and what I have noticed is even from one ride this frame's got quite a few little scratches on the top that you can't really notice just when you're looking at it but when you get up close and clean it there's loads of little micro abrasions all over it. Now I'm not sure if that was how it arrived or just from one ride that's that's quite disappointing that it's so scratched already. There you go you can just see it in that light along there so this Invisi frame should stop all those little scratches happening again in the future. So the bike's totally cleaned down now. So onto the first step, which is start off with the right chain stay. It's a small part, which will be perfect to practice with. So let's give it a go. Here's the right chain stay just here. You can see this pattern here. So it suggests to start with this one first. We'll give this one a go and see how we get on. It says to wet my fingers, which is what I've done. Peel this bit off. Okay, we've got behind the seat tube on. That's the first bit that I've done after the chain stay and again it's super super transparent you can barely even see it's on you can just about see the edge where the the frame sticker is you can just about see the edge of it but it's so so thin you've got the top tube part this is quite a big piece actually this one so it runs all the way down all the way along the top tube and you can see these kind of wings that are gonna flip under the top tube and wrap around underneath Back of the seat tube and the top tube and the rear chainstay, the right hand side chainstay, you can just about see the edge here. And again, it's only looking really, really closely at this. You can just see the edge. There we go. I'll tell you what, the attention to detail on this kit is superb. Look at the way that this motor mount, the motor housing has been cut. It's incredible how whoever has designed and cut these is taking into account all of this around here. You can see how nicely it's been computer cut. Taking into account all the um, engine bolts and engine mounts.
I am a little bit disappointed that there's nothing in terms of protection down here. So you've probably got about, I don't know, three centimeters between the lettering, between about here and here. All the way up here, there's no, no protection. So that's not included. I think that's a bit of a miss. And also, just under the down tube, just under here, there's also no protection. So I actually took a little bit from one of the forks and um, put it down there. So I think that's quite prone to, you know, a bit of stone rash on there. No protection there, but otherwise, it's quite good. Oh, that took a long time. Um, probably about four, five hours, I would say. I started it two days ago and um, couldn't get it all done in one afternoon. So um, I had to, had to start it again tonight, which I started again a couple of hours ago. And it's quite difficult, to be honest with you. It's really, um, really tricky to put together. Um, I am really pleased with the end result though. There are a couple of bits I didn't quite get right, um, which is quite irritating. Um, maybe on the top tube and where some of the parts are a bit concaved and curl round at the edges. They were really difficult to do. Um, but on the whole, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. There are a couple of bits that I am a bit disappointed about. On the bottom of the down tube at the top, just above the battery, there's no bit to cover that, which, um, which is quite disappointing because as the front wheel's spinning, I haven't got a mud guard on here yet. That's going to be a bit prone to a bit of stone and, and kind of rash from, uh, from some stones. And also the top part all the way down where the specialised logo and lettering is, there's a big strip in the middle that's completely exposed. So I would have expected in a kit that costs, I think it was about £85 um, for those bits to have been included. The forks look really, really good. They are now a matte. They were a matte and they're now a, um, like a gloss finish, uh, which looks quite nice. Um, the top parts of the forks aren't the best kind of fit, um, but on the whole, my bike is pretty much protected. I would say about 95% of the frame is now totally covered in the Invisi frame. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It did take a long time. I probably next time would see if I can pay for somebody to do it because, God, that's a lot of hours. And if you're experienced in it, you can probably do it a lot, lot quicker and to a slightly higher standard than, than what I've got it. Um, there are a couple of bubbles, but I'm sure after a few rides when it's covered in mud, I'm not really gonna notice and not be bothered about it anymore. But yeah, there you go, the Invisi frame. I have used it outside and I have got a bit of damage to one of the uh, Invisi frame protection parts at the front of the bike. I took my Turbo Levo to Bike Park Wells, which you can see on one of my other videos. Um, but I think on the uplift, it's rubbed against another bike. So at the front on the right hand side, just past the um, Specialized logo, there's two parts where it's always, almost rubbed all the way through to the frame. So I'm a bit gutted about that actually, because uh, I kind of thought it would totally protect it, but saying that, I don't know how bad it would have been without it. But at the moment, I've got a new Invisi frame uh, kit with uh, two holes at the front, so I'm going to see if I can get a replacement part because that really annoys me. But um, take a look at the fit in, see what you think, let me know, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, give me a like or whatever. See you soon. Bye.